today, we talk about collaboration as, you know, you can make a phone call and talk, you can have a video conference or a, uh, other types of interactions, but increasingly we think this, this sort of interaction at a distance is going to be really important. Uh, uh, I generally tend to use the term telepresence as a way to think about what it's going to be like, but I actually think it will be sort of the next big thing in the tele family. There was the telephone, you know, which collapsed distance for people, but only with, with the spoken word. Then there was television, you know, which you know, allowed us to do that with images. And I think the next thing that we're going to see is telepresence, where more and more you'll be able to interact with people in a very lifelike and realistic way that aren't there. You know, for those of you that you know, are perhaps science fiction fans, you know, if you watch uh, Star Trek, they used to have the thing called the holodeck, you know, uh, which was essentially a completely synthetic environment. We really we know how to build the holodeck now. Uh, and so it, it isn't that many years away where you're going to find uh, it quite natural to interact uh, at a distance. And in fact, one of the things that I think you'll see quite soon uh, is the ability for people to, at least in small groups, go and have meetings together uh, where none of them are actually physically in the same room. But your ability to, to look at each other and talk and communicate is as if you were in the same place. Uh, the technology to do that is coming very quickly now, and I think you know will represent a revolution in what people come to expect uh, in, in multi-party interaction at a distance. Kids today are already starting to move in this direction. If you look at things like Xbox and Kinect, you know, they have avatars that, that they use to represent themselves, to communicate with their friends, uh, and, uh, and to do things. Today those avatars are just caricatures of you. But at the end of the day, there's no reason that they can't become very lifelike. Uh, a year or so ago, when I used to give a talk like this, I talked about avatars, and people would say, what's that? You know, thanks to Jim Cameron and the movie, people don't ask that question so much anymore. Uh, but the idea that you can have some very lifelike uh, representation that, that you're essentially projecting yourself through uh, is, is not really science fiction. And you're going to see that come much more quickly than many people expect, and it creates a whole new model of, of interaction.